A violent summer in Detroit is adding fuel to a fiery debate over public safety. Should the city expand a controversial crime-fighting tool? It's a big decision that City Council just postponed making for a third time. Welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Dave Llewellyn. The city has had multiple mass shootings this year and tragically an increase in the number of children who have lost their lives to violence. At least 16 children have been killed this year compared to nine this time last year. Right now, shot spotter technology, which can detect gunshots, covers six and a half square miles. Detroit police want to expand it to 28 square miles. Part of the issue is the cost, more than $7 million to be paid with COVID relief money. Some wonder, is it worth it? 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is in one of the communities that would get this technology if council gives the go ahead. Darren. Here in Detroit's 8th Precinct and over in the 9th Precinct, ShotSpotter is in use. At Detroit City Council today, nearly 100 people commented on whether it should be expanded. Some cities I've heard it works for, some cities I heard it doesn't. What is it going to do for us? Seven Jones is a lifelong Detroit resident. She lives here, she grew up here, and even started a small business here on the Avenue of Fashion. Jones says she has a vested interest in seeing her community thrive. Unfortunately, we've, ha we've had shootings on this street. Like the mass shooting that left three people dead last month. So she chimed in during Detroit City Council public comment today, expressing her thoughts on ShotSpotter, a technology the police department currently uses in the 8th and 9th precincts and wants to expand. It's designed to pinpoint gunfire for a quicker, more precise police response. I'm definitely for the technology. Um, as with anything, there's the pros and cons. Her main concern, how it's funded. As it stands, the department is asking city council to use millions of COVID relief dollars for the expansion. Some are concerned the funds are being redirected from other uses. As it relates to the expansion, I think more conversation um, needs to take place. And as of today, I cannot support it as is. City Council President Mary Sheffield questioned if funding should come from the police department's budget. So council postponed the vote until next week. During public comment, others expressed concerns about invasion of privacy, as well as overly aggressive policing. ShotSpotter is nothing but an investigative lead. It has no video. It, 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 it has no voice recordings. It responds to the percussion of a gunshot, period. Chief James White also addressed concerns that those millions of dollars ought to be put towards mental health and affordable housing instead. He says it shouldn't be an either or approach. We need resources and they will absolutely have an impact on crime. But why can't we run concurrently with those services and the tools that this police department needs to fight crime. Jones is looking forward to seeing how the council proceeds. They got a big job. They got a, a, a hefty decision on their plate. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.